guys, this is my family home, as a lot of you OGs will know. And we're currently undergoing some renovations, as you can see. We've got no carpet on the stairs, we've had a whole new floor put in down here. So what better time to overhaul the network in this house? I've been getting so many questions from you guys saying, Alex, why have you not checked out Ubiquiti's new security system, Unify Protect? You love security cameras and you also love Ubiquiti. So we're going to be installing that in this series as well as a whole entire network and a new server cab up there. Wireless access points, point to point link to the end of the garden, you name it, it's in this series. Guys, go grab some popcorn, grab some food, sit back, relax, and welcome to Tech Club. So guys, we need to lay the foundation of this build with the Unify Security Gateway Pro. This is going to do all the routing or routing of our network. Now, I have set up a Ubiquiti network in Tom's house for him, so if you want to see how to set one of those up, I kind of covered that in that video. So yes, this is our router forward slash router for this build. Next up, well, we've got... A cloud key. This is essentially going to tie everything together. It's going to control the network. This is the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, though. That means it has a two terabyte hard drive built into it, so it's going to record all of our security cameras on this network. Next up, we have a variety of access points. This is one of them, the In Wall Pro. This can actually go on a socket on the wall, and it gives you some Ethernet out as well. It's an absolutely mental access point for the size of it. It's wireless AC. I think it's 4x4 MIMO or something mental and then next up we have some of these these are the nano station AC locos now essentially these things are going to be set up as a point-to-point -point bridge so one of these is going to sit in the loft and the other one is going to sit at the outhouse at the end of the garden and across there it's going to transmit data so then down there at the outhouse we can have more access points for Wi-Fi and security cameras on this house and at the end of the garden transmitting over that point-to-point -point link. So all of that to come. I've just got to rip apart the network now that's already in this house. So guys, there's a few reasons as to why I've really wanted to do this series, but the main one is welcome to this rack. A lot of you, again, will know this rack, and if you don't, I'll briefly explain what this rack is. This is essentially how I sell internet to my many clients that buy internet off me through dishes I put on the roof. Now, the main problem with that is my business, my internet business, where I sell it through the Wi-Fi on the roof, is expanding, and the network for this house, like the router and the switch, is all in my rack that is primarily for me selling internet so I need to take all of the stuff out of this rack that's to do with this house put it in a separate rack and as well as install all new access points and CCTV and everything so this is gonna be a big deal we need to take out this router and this switch because it's going in a separate rack So the basis of our network is set up upstairs on the cardboard box. We've got our USG that plugs into our 16 port switch and then we've got our cloud key which ties everything together, more on that in just a second. And then we've got one of our in-wall access points which is going to give us Wi-Fi and then we've got our little point-to-point -point link that we're going to configure in today's episode. Now I've wired up this computer into the network so we can make sure that we've got internet access and everything's working. I'm just going to look a quick speed test here absolutely fine. So this is the cloud key. Essentially we can go here into the Unify network as to which I'm going to do because I'm going to have to go and find our switch and turn on PoE. So as you guys can see this is our switch. Our little point to point link was in this port here so I'm going to go and configure this 24 volt passive PoE and then that will supply power to that port bringing on our little point to point link. Now, I've also got a security camera plugged into the switch upstairs. Now, as you've noticed, there's one cable going between things like the cloud key, the security camera, and the access point, and that's because the switch is providing power over Ethernet to all of these devices. So, as well as data, it's also powering them. So, if I go back to the cloud key and open up Unify Protect, 
I'm going to set this up and it should find the camera that's plugged into that switch. And there we go, as you guys can see, it's found this camera. For now, I'm going to call this Loft Cam and we will add this camera. And there we go, because it is connected to the switch directly, it's just a part of the network and it's there. So back over in Unify, if I click on the switch up here and then I go over here, because yep. I've turned on the 24 volt passive, we've now got a green light, which means the link is up. I should be able to find that device at 192.168.1.20. Now the device I'm using for the point-to-point -point link is called the NanoStation 5AC Loco. I'm going to log in with its default username and password, which is UBNT. Now essentially what I'm going to configure this device to do is give out a wireless network that I'm then going to configure another device that's going to sit on the outhouse to pick up. Channel width I'm going to put down to 20 just because I don't need crazy speeds going out to the outhouse. I just really don't. The higher the channel width, the faster the speeds. And then the channel, I'm going to put it quite low at 5180. The output power really doesn't need to be high for this, so I'm going to go ahead and dial that right down to zero, and then I'm going to enable wireless security and type in appreciate key. And then, now pretty much everything on here looks good. You can go down to the bottom, click save changes, and that is this radio, or the first half of the point-to-point -point link configured. So this little radio is gonna live up in the loft with all the gear and it's gonna point down to the outhouse and now we need to go and set up the outhouse. So guys, I've never actually messed around with this stuff before and it's actually really cool. It's down here all working, check this out. So down here, I've got a power over ethernet injector. So essentially what this is doing is giving power through this ethernet cable and it's giving it to this device, which is the nano switch. Now this is really inexpensive and it does one thing and one thing really well. And that is give you three other ethernet ports that also are now powered with 24 volt PoE. So now essentially our camera and our access point can both talk to the main network because I'm going to configure this to receive the signal from the other loco that's upstairs in the loft. And yes, they do work through walls at a short distance, so that's in the loft and I'm down here in the office. They should connect fine. Okay, so our network that's going to live in the outhouse is set up down there. Absolutely awesome. Can you guys see this? We've got our loco loft over here and we've got our loco outhouse and as you can see they're connected with a link of about 24 meg. That's not very fast. These will go up to about 200 megabits once there's no walls in the way so we will have essentially full network speed. So now if we were to go over to our Unify controller which controls all of our network, you can see that we're ready to adopt our mesh access point which is going to live outside. So we'll We'll go ahead and adopt that and then if we go over to our cameras and click add device there is our G3 flex so we can go ahead and name this I don't know uh, garden and then we're good to go so essentially what I'm gonna do is this little nano station that's sending the signal to the nano station that's gonna be receiving it I'm gonna just sort of while I'm up here in the loft point it out to the garden okay so here we go what I'm gonna do is use my one plug and plug this in. So again guys, we've got our nano switch here which is taking power over ethernet from this PoE injector and piping out power and data to these three things. So I've got full Wi-Fi, so the node is now working. Let's see what speeds we're pulling over the point-to-point -point link. There we go, about 25 meg, 26. So when I've got these actually mounted outside of the building pointing at each other, these should smash straight past 100. But for now, I know at least the node is working and we'll go back inside and see if we can see the live view from our camera here. This is really, really exciting. Uh, let's see what the crack is. Yeah, garden camera is online. Let's check the live feed. And there we go, that is inside of the shed at full 1080p. Look at that, there we go, it works. I find this absolutely magical that that is like totally working over Wi-Fi. So, so, so cool. Okay, so before we go ahead and wrap this up, I wanna say a massive thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring episode one of this network build. 
A VPN is great for protecting your privacy online. And one of the reasons I use Nord over the other VPNs is because they use AES-256 encryption, which is twice as secure as the other major VPNs out there. They also have 24-7 support if you guys are a little bit iffy with VPNs and you want to ask them a couple of questions first and they were kind enough to give you guys, TechFlow viewers, 75% off a three-year plan. So all of that will be in the top line of the description. So guys, absolutely buzzing. I'm so happy we've got the preliminary network set up here in the loft and the point-to-point -point link down to the outhouse all set up and working. Now for episode two and episode three and episode four, we need to add more cameras. We need to get all of this stuff in its own server rack. We need to run all the Ethernet ports to it, for around the house, all of the computers, and we need to plan where we're gonna put our wireless access points to give full 5G coverage to this property. This is gonna be a mad one, guys, and I'm so happy we've managed to start it now. So for now, I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Oh, oh, drop the money out of space. Yeah. Drink, enter.